All right, I'm gonna say not a big difference from yesterday. Yeah, so I drank yesterday, but I was very hydrated all night. So didn't get that dehydration factor. So yay. Look at how beautiful that steak looks. Steven really is so good at cooking. And look at how fluffy those eggs are. Oh my goodness. I am thoroughly going to enjoy this. So this is six ounces of steak, three large eggs, a tablespoon and a half of heavy whipping cream, and then between the sour cream and guacamole, it was one half ounce. So I've calculated it and this should be 724 calories for breakfast. That leaves me with 415 left to go for today. All right, and here is the shrimp cornbread with sugar-free syrup. I used two tablespoons, so that will be five extra calories. That leaves me with 95 calories left to go. And I think it's only like 10 a.m. So uh, hopefully that will be the end of it. <laughs> What time is it? Is it 10? 10.30, okay. That's fine. I usually get a little hungry around like three or four, so I should be good actually. Steven and I are about to play a board game. I asked his consent and he is going to allow me to record him reading the rules or any vital information. We are playing one of the games that we got from the board game convention flea market. It's called Oath. We purchased two games at the convention and then we got a couple more after it because there were a couple games that we really enjoyed. Also want to mention I'm not suffering any hangover effects from drinking last night so I am going to reincorporate some alcohol once every two weeks but alcohol does have bad effects on your body and weight loss goals so if I'm seeing any form of stalling or I think it is messing up my plan. I'm gonna have to reevaluate that. <laughs> so today is just going to be us playing a board game and I think after that some yoga because my body feels stiff and I got him to agree to do yoga with me. That is what the day looks like. Enjoy this board game. Basically it's a ongoing campaign uh, it's not like a legacy where we're ripping up stuff like those other games or changing the game board with other things, but the way we end the game affects how the next game starts. Um, it's best with like three or four players. Obviously we don't have three or four players, so we have two of us. So we can experiment. There's a couple of ways we can play. Um, one on one is not recommended. Just playing each playing one character is not recommended. Um, there is also an automaton which can play one player by itself. Looking at it, that's not the ideal way to play and it's kind of fiddly and it breaks a lot of the rules just to make it work. That's not ideal. The other way to play would be having us play as three players and playing each playing one character and then alternating playing the guy in charge. We can look at that. Um, or is just playing each playing like two characters each. Um, which this is a, the demo game. It's not demo. It's the first game um, to which is kind of scripted for the first turn to introduce you to how to play uh, and that has basically in that situation having us uh, four players um, so we would basically for the first game at least be playing each playing two characters uh, and then from there deciding in the future what we want to do and how we want to do it and again we can you know, adjust that uh, as we go along. Um, effectively, this is a storytelling game. It's it's about the story of what happens and how it happens, more so about who's winning or who's losing, um, because someone's in charge and there's other people who don't like that and are trying to overthrow them. One of them's going to win and be in charge, and then the next round he's in charge and other people want to overthrow him, uh, and so it's, it's kind of that struggle. Uh, and then the game is differentiated by what lands are in play, what special cards are in play, and so each game is a little different and each game affects those games going forward. comes with a little little book 
that you can go ahead and write your chronicle of your adventure. Uh, it's a $10 book. You can buy a new book, or of course you need the book. Uh, I'm not sure what, how that's going to work out for us. I will nominate you to be in charge of the chronicle. But, uh, so I'm kind of going through the setup right now. Having asked that, do you want to be the big bad guy or do you just want to, to have two peons? Bad guy. There you go. <laughs> so. Uh, Was that ever a choice? Well, you know. <laughs> so you get the Chancellor board, you end up getting this, you end up getting uh, all... Ooh, I'm greedy. These stuff, well, that's that's a special in some cases. So you get those are the guys' pieces. So you'll have the Chancellor board, you'll have that. We have the Banner of the Darkest Secret, which has a secret on it, and we have... Oh, that's a little book? And the, Yep. Oh, that's so cute! And we have the uh, People's Favor, which is has a buck on it. You have True Favor, No Secret, and you're over there. You create a secret, you're following the card, which is in charge. Then we have yellow, blue, because we use the blue. Okay, so which other color do you want? Blue. Blue person means and yellow people. Who'd you? What's yours? Can you, uh, can you show I me? I am like a fox person, and this weird four-handed thingamajigger. Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> All right, mine's the coolest. <laughs> oh, you got the, the shadowy guy. Mm. Yep. Um, all right. Discard. Well, stop! Stop! Well, stop! 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 Uh, and then put the remaining cards on the world deck space on the map face down. Stop! Yeah. How are you knowing that the ivory card is the one that you're pulling up, or is it the one you're pulling up? Because just I there? spent an hour stacking this deck back the way it came from the factory. Oh shit! All right. What are these? Stories? Oh, you did it wrong. So now, basically, we have the first turn, um, and it'll basically explain the game and run through a turn for each of these, and then let us go ahead and continue. Okay. All right. So. I'm going to put this on pause and put the camera on a tripod so that I don't have to hold it while trying to play. Probably a good plan. Yeah. But I wanted to see you explain it. I oh, know. So, we haven't even explained it yet. Uh-oh. All right. So, this is Oath. Uh, who we are and how to win. All right. Oath is a game about history. It's about what gets forgotten, who gets left behind, and how power moves from one part of society to another. Usurper. Usurper. I'm gonna have to look that one up. All I'm right. pretty sure it's Usuper. Usuper? Okay. Usuper? You? Usuper? Is it Usuper or Usuper? Sorry, I'm not sure about that. How do you say the word U S U R P E R? You didn't say your name. How do you pronounce the word that's spelled U S U R P E R? The word surprise is S U R P E R E D. Oh, I saw. So, anyhow, you flip it over to Usurper. You, wait, wait. you win. Usurper. Usurper. Um, Am I trying to usurp my own person? Technically, we are each playing, there's four separate characters. You're playing two separate characters. Okay. So if you play properly, he'll fight to win and he'll fight to win. We're going to play this first game and then we're going to figure out how we want to play okay. going forward. I was really looking forward to playing against a robot. We c that's an option. Usurper. Usurper. Or usurper. Usurper. Whether it's a hard you. It's, it's never going to happen. <laughs> One eternity later. They discard back around. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no. okay. So. Hey, how do I get this shit back? All right. 45 calories. Or are they still mm -hmm. telling you what to do? For the first whole round. Everybody's oh. first turn, which is going to show us how each of the, the actions work. All right. Real gameplay starts in time for my camera to die and have to switch to an Alaska Brave 7E GoPro knockoff. There you go. I decimated them. You did. So that's uh, four, five, six. So six, but you lose a guy. So. So. Holy smokes. <laughs> well, um, dun, dun, dun. I want a muster. All right. What are you doing? All right. Those don't go there. Oh. So you're declaring a campaign. Declaring a campaign. So doubles, 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 doubles. Uh, five. So my five to your six. You win. Get out of my place. Okay. And you have you have that. Right. So can I look you, at this? You can. You can. That's your card. You can. That's a free action to look at it. It's a free action to play. Vision of sanctuary. Um, 
Wait, if you win, if you hold the most banners and relics at the beginning, you hold, you own three. Uh, <laughs> well, isn't that? And at least three visions have been drawn from the deck. Yes. Does that mean I won? Uh, at the beginning of your turn, if you hold them all, you you will win. Yes. I, I I'm fucking broke. Uh, so then. I am going to go ahead and pay one to recover that. Players can only recover this from you if there is a card at your site oh, shit. whose suit does not match any of your advisors. No, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. At least I made you spend more supply. <laughs> All right, and then... No. We skipped yellow. It yeah. Was blue, it should have been yellow. And I think it was purple. And no, we should. It sh should have went yellow, blue. Skipped to freaking red. And then it goes purple. And then it. Yeah, I know. Wait, 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 wait. It goes. It goes. It, it, it goes purple, blue, red. Yeah, it should have went yellow and then purple and then red. I don't think you could back it up. You did two. You skipped two people. No, I know. I know. <laughs> you were just really excited to to beat me <laughs> to take my books. I was. <laughs> I didn't stop you. I just was like, okay, here we go. I win because you're a dirty cheater. <laughs> um, can we, can we, I mean, can we even back that up? I don't know what you did. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I'll go. You go. Well, yellow has to go. Yellow should have went after after there. Yeah. And then purple goes. Yep. And it's not. No. God! <laughs> I only fuck, have three. Fuck, you, fuck yellow, huh? I got to pee real quick. I trust that you uh, won't uh, cheat. All right, all right. <laughs> Again. Yeah. There you go. I was excited. I'm getting really pissed about you taking all my shit. I know. Yeah, I'll banish you to the salt flats. That's fine. That's where I want to go. Uh, or you could go here. I would kill my guys. It's not your guys. You're not blue. I'm not going to defeat myself. Blue. I'm not going to defeat myself. Blue. I'm not going to defeat myself. Are um, you attacking orange at all? Orange, orange isn't... N neither of my characters are winning right now. He needs everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he he needs to get a vision that actually does something with what he has. Damn! No. no. I really needed that to be right. over. You win if you hold the darkest secret. And at least three vision cards have been drawn. So, the beginning of his next turn, he will win. The end. The end. Okay. Right, so. Oh my god, that was two fucking hours on just that. Steven won. I'm not salty at all. I ate the last of my calories in Reese's Pieces. I am exhausted. We played for like four hours and I don't feel like doing anything at this point and I still have to figure out how to edit four hours worth of gameplay. So I'm gonna call this my outro. I'm gonna have a bag of popcorn. I'm gonna be over by a hundred. I'm okay with that. I ate all my calories in my breakfast and I'm a little hungry so I'm gonna do the popcorn. But that is it for today. There's no real plan for tomorrow, so it might be a silent movie Sunday. Who knows? We will see. If you want to see, tune in tomorrow and find out. Bye, guys.